What's up guys and girls, welcome to another video. Um, first of all, I wanted to start this video just saying thank you again so much for your support. On the last few videos, you guys have been awesome. We appreciate all the comments, all the thumbs up. So thank you guys so much for continuing to do that. Uh, today's video, I think you're gonna like it. It's kind of more of like a raw video, not super edited. Um, it kind of just follows us around the warehouse for a day. So hopefully you enjoy it. Um, I had fun filming it. So yeah, if you like it, and if you like uh, if you like reselling type videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. So let's get going. Hey, so I'm stressed out because we're supposed to be getting all these shoes delivered. They were supposed to be here Monday, and now it's Wednesday, and that was what the whole video was going to be about. So now we need a new video idea. What do we do? We can do estate sales tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's Thursday. Oh. Yeah, Filmed but some sales cut to that good morning or whatever time it is wherever you're watching I'm gonna show you some of our sales today is Wednesday the 18th check it out. So we got some Cole Haan Zero grand really great condition. These sold for $45 some on cloud shoes great condition these sell really well for us and quickly, and those sold for $50. And then we have the Chicago Bulls Puma newest tags hat, and that sold for $30 hairs. And then we've got this bad boy, a new Carhartt Sherpa lined jacket. Um, I kind of already folded it, but that bad boy sold for $60. Okay, well that, that filled a little bit of time. <laughs> that filled a oh, little bit of time. Pickleball? Pickleball? You guys want to see us play pickleball for like 30 minutes? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Get under it well, I don't know. We got to figure out an idea for today, for this week's video. It's Wednesday and it's got to be out by Friday, which means we have to film something today and tomorrow How's so that you? I can edit it Friday. House tour. Current mm, house that's an intriguing idea. Rally Roots Cribs. Welcome to my crib. Mm. We were gonna do that like right before we moved, so that people didn't find out where we live and then show up and say hi. <laughs> <laughs> but we do want to do that a house tour. This whole week we've been waiting on the shoes. shoes. <laughs> I got the setup already. Yeah. And the guy sent them super fast. It wasn't like, hey, can you send them? Hey, can you send them? Ryan was like, we want to buy shoes, and he messaged him. He was like, they're sent. Oh yeah, they're they were like, supposed to be here two days ago. The guy was one thing. It. One thing that we can show is these. We have people driving from South Florida to come pick up all of these speakers. Florida. 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 That's a cool yeah. thing. That's like a thirty-five hundred dollar-ish deal. <whistles> Maybe I'll put that in the title. Wholesale. <laughs> you know, one thing that we could do, what we've is kind it? of been doing over the past couple of weeks. So this building here is all the stuff in here eventually has to get moved over to the second building once that all gets built out. So that one is going to get completed first and then we're going to move everything from here to there. So what we've been trying to do is like purge some of the stuff in this building so we don't have to move it. And how we've been purging that is like with the speakers, we've been wholesaling it out through our Instagram stories. So maybe you can follow me around the warehouse and I can find some more stuff to wholesale out. And just, yeah. This can be a purge video. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Cue the sound of the purge movie. <laughs> Would you like to purge with us? Uh... Got it. <laughs> what about those? Anyone want some tables? Whoa. What have you got down What's there? Stuff. What is this? Stuff and things. Oh, these are vintage uh, pullovers, sweaters. I bet we could sell those. Sweater, jacket. It's another one. It's another one. I wonder, yeah, maybe we could do like a. Oh, this one's really cool. Look, it's a jersey. Skateful Dead. Skateful Dead jersey. Maybe we could do like a pullover lot for someone. Yeah. What are these, jerseys? Oh, there's a bunch of jerseys in here too. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Maybe we can do a jersey lot and a pullover lot. 
It's crazy what you can find in your own warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Do we know what's in some of this, some of these boxes? I think this, these boxes up here are all appliances from our old wholesale, oh. old wholesale guy. These were listed? Yeah. They were at one point. I don't think they are now. Oh, okay. Ooh, stuff from when we moved and never opened the box. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Legit. Remember that toy? Ollie was playing with oh, that at Bush the Gardens auction. Hat. Oh! That's pretty cool. Bush Gardens hat. That is a cool hat. What is this? That toy! Pants? Pants. What, what are these random? Oh, they're North Face pants. Pants. I might get that. Okay. Uh, oh, these are all those... Those... Um, we separated the real ones from the fake ones because yeah. we opened them. Yes, we ended up getting a bunch of these canine advantics, and then um, someone pointed out that they were fake. You could tell by like the lock numbers on, on the, the outside bottom. and inside. So obviously we didn't sell them; they're just sitting in here. So we need to get rid of these, actually. Yeah, they're not. I can't. You can't trust them. What is this? Is this new? It looks like it was shipped back. Shipped Maybe back? there's something wrong with it. Oh, what is this? Like a nail gun. Ooh. Nail gun? Power tools. Can we test it, maybe? Did you just call me baby? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I mean, it looks fine. Whoa, no. Ah! <laughs> Are there nails in here? I don't know. Don't pull the trigger. Ooh. Always pull the trigger. We might need that. Let's just keep it for the ranch. <laughs> what is this? Marvel Works game. Construction set. Allie, weren't you going to list this or play uh, with it? Play with it or something? Oh, yeah. Like two years ago. It's cool. Yeah, Ollie was playing with that at the the sale we had. Oh. Fresh. What's in here? Ooh. Oh, this was on my desk. Oh yeah. It's a little toy. A little Ooh. toy car. Vroom vroom. So this is trash. Treat. I don't think any of these things are listed. They were at one point. I remember because we had multiples of the blenders. Right. And we sold some of them. That stuff's mine. This is your stuff? I have stuff <laughs> there and in that bin with the yellow lid is all mine. Is any of it listed? No. <laughs> nice. nice. I just packed it from the other warehouse and then moved it and haven't done anything with it. We still have a bunch of these. <laughs> when did these expire? Do they expire? I don't... They're probably... They like, smell not great. Yeah. Some of them have probably exploded in their boxes. Here's that, uh, blow mold alley. Keep it at the street. Oh, the, uh, Dracula? Yeah. There's, um, another pile of extra clothes from an old wholesale lot. Oh. Over there. Oh, those socks. This is all good inventory here. Mm -hmm. That's a mountain hardware jacket. There's some suit jackets in there too. Motorcycle jackets. That's brand new Pendleton. Whoa. Oh, this is that uh, Carhartt. Carhartt, like giant work suit. Yes. That's, cool. That's a good item. Yeah, Levi's. Yeah. Orange tab, Levi's. L.O. Bean. Oh wow, that's a nice Honda, leather Honda jacket. There's some good stuff in mm -hmm. here. Oh my God. Maybe we can build another little wholesale lot for someone. I don't True. Know. New tags, Calvin Klein. New tags, Ralph Lauren. Wow. Yeah. More leather. What is this another Levi's jacket? Joe Rocket. Hmm. We've got enough to make some yeah. boxes. What's in this pile? I don't know. Okay. What oh, this that? might have been like a gift, I guess. Oh. <laughs> a way too big gift. That's so funny. That's funny. Thrasher shirt? 
Oh, isn't this yours, Allie? This Pokemon that you made? Is the Thrasher hers, too? I don't know. I know you made this. How is that fair? I don't know. Maybe this whole pile is your stuff. Yeah, maybe. What is this? This is the North Face. Wait, did we give this away? Or was that a different shirt that I made that we gave away? I don't know. I thought we gave this away. I was looking for the shirt, and then I was I thought that I would given it away. Stella McCartney. Well, I want Adidas. this back, then. Yeah, take it back. <laughs> Couple Stella McCartney Adidas. That's good. That's so funny. I thought that I gave that shirt away in the live show. But it must have been a different one that looks like uh, that. This is Athleta. It's nice. Is this yours? That's Athleta? Yeah. Oh, that was some of my stuff that I gave to you to sell because I was like, this is worth selling. And I had a bunch of these and I wasn't like. That's cool. That's so cute. Right? How is that just there? I don't know. There's just stuff over here. What is this? <laughs> it's not mine. It's a Margaritaville shirt. <laughs> Bless your little soul. I'm a Caesar. Another uh, Adidas polo, new text? Oh, yeah, some of this is old wholesale lot oh, stuff. Oh, okay, okay. So another one of those. Yeah, this is all good stuff, though. Disney? Disney. Oh, the Tommy jackets. Are those not listed? I don't, nothing over here is. Okay. These are good. These things used to be worth so much money. I don't even know what they're worth now, but That's these old sad. Tommy fleeces. I think Tommy will make a comeback at some point. It always does. Yeah. This is a sailing gear one. I mean, I could do like a Tommy Hilfiger jacket lock. True. Look at this one. Oh, Whoa. the sailing gear ones are really up. Dang. Oh, yeah, this one. These used to be worth like three, four hundred dollars. This particular fleece. Wow. So, I don't know what it's worth now. Not that, though. I don't know. And then what is all this? Oh what my is all gosh. This, Callie? Bro, I didn't put it there. <laughs> well, maybe this was like It's not in the It's not in the to be photographed section of the warehouse. This is all it seems like it's all like stained stained stuff that we probably just set aside because it wasn't in good enough condition to sell. You know? Not with the other stuff. Yeah. yeah. Just a random blank. Random vintage blank. Looks like an army t-shirt. Yeah. You All look right. military today. I do? Yeah. Just your with your build and the color t-shirt you have on. Oh, true. oh look, a Lulu shirt. Oh. That's Lululemon. Lululemon. I can tell because of that. Because of the stitches? Yeah. One, three two, three. Stitches. I think this uh, is a bit big for me. Where's my zero? I can definitely make some wholesale lots. Let's do it. That's Word? the video today. Here? Right there. Oh, there you are. I'm right here, Mom. Hello. Here's something you can film quick, and this is a reason why we always put best offer on our items, and we always counter back offers because people people ask us all the time, like, how do you, what do you do when you get a low ball offer? And most of the time, we don't just decline that offer. We counter back, or we'll message them and be like, hey, come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's what happened in this case. This dude offered here. Let me show you the shirt. We're on the move. It is this one. This Grateful Dead shirt, really nice one, 1995, cool shirt. He offered uh, $100 on it, right? And that's, that's low, $100 is very low. So I, I reached out and I was like, hey man, I'm probably not gonna accept any like low ball offers on it. And he was like, well, what's the least you can do? And I said, 250. And then he offered $110. <laughs> and it's like, come on, man. Um, and then he messaged me and he was like, okay, 180. Um, and I said, no, and I countered back 250. And he was like, okay, 225. So he came up from $100 to $225. And I accepted that offer. Nice. So, yeah, don't just like, you know, react emotionally and decline offers. Work with the people because it's it's people making offers on stuff. Yeah. Usually, I mean, always, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but most of the time, it's not like it's it's not going to be a reseller. It's just someone looking for a deal. So yeah, to get someone up from a hundred dollars, if we had auto decline offer on that listing, if I was like decline everything below two hundred dollars, 
we would have never even got that offer. So, True. Yeah. Little tip for eBay. Don't decline everything. All right, so let's see how this goes. I'm putting a post on our Instagram story that just says, clearing out some unlisted inventory from our warehouse. Going to make a few cheap wholesale lots. Stay tuned in the stories. So I'll just post some stuff. Probably starting with like this lot of two Rolling Stones hoodies and that really cool 1990 Eric Clapton pullover. We'll give people really good deals and stuff and see if we can clear out some of this unlisted inventory. All right, how about this lot? 10 jerseys. We'll do 15 bucks a piece. 150 bucks shipped. Claim in DMs. And that's how you sell stuff on Instagram. The couple that drove up to get all the speakers from us, their Instagram handle is Full Time Hangers. Really, really cool couple. And they brought us some presents. <laughs> Wow. It looks like a crystal unicorn. It's like a fairy unicorn. Usually I get mad when people give Allie unicorn things because Look she has like a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> that one is pretty sweet. I, know, I, I love that. That's no zero. What's up, bud? Oh, wow. Like, hey, We're going to have to zoom up on that. Sorry, I forgot about you guys. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, I don't even know what that's That's so fancy. Oh, my God. There's a bunch of them, so. Allie, how about it? <gasps> oh, they're all Dragon Ball Z? Ooh. That's oh, yeah, you were telling so me I was like, I can see cool. them. So I figured, I don't know if you have a little man cave set up over here. I have, or... Oh, cool, yeah. We have a full Dragon Ball Z room at our house. You know, I love <laughs> you. Really? I know you had a bunch of those Funko Pops, Dang. so I was like, what's something Ryan, that he doesn't... Really? <laughs> no, <isn't laughs> these are so cool. That's the only one that has a little rip in it, but the rest are clean. No, that's okay. Ah, oh, look get them how good framed it is. Out, put them in yeah, the early, studio. Early 2000s. They still have like the pricing stickers on them, I think. We're like specifically That's Dragon cool. Ball Z fans. Yeah. Oh, like awesome. opposed to all the other songs. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. I'm the, not. I saw the Funko Pops. I know where I am. I have Dragon no idea. Ball. I can't get into that stuff. I, oh my god. <laughs> this is so good. That's really nice of you. Thank you. Of course. Nice. <laughs> Stella we job. We got speakers. <laughs> Awesome. Done deal. Yeah. Yeah. Callie's packing up that box. All this stuff. I gave him a really good deal. Four hundred dollars for everything. So, yeah. Hey, that's a good deal. Super good deal. And then this slot sold as well. One fifty for the three hoodies. Uh, the jerseys are still available. But yeah, got rid of some stuff. Did it work? Yeah. Look what we did. We had nothing to do and now we made money. We made money. We made a video. Oh, hey, it's me. I'm back again. Today is Thursday and we have some more sales to show you. These are a pair of Ryan's shorts. They have like hidden zipper pockets and they're stretchy running athletic shorts sold for $28. This is a denim supply button up. Ralph Lauren that sold for $24.97. Bread and butter. Bread and butter. And then these Nike camo shoes, Metcon 3 CrossFit shoes. These bad boys sold for 60 doll hairs. And then yesterday, Ryan went through a bunch of stuff that we just randomly had over there, made some lots, and this Jersey lot sold, so I'm gonna ship that out today too. Okay, so it looks like the wholesale shoe lots that we are still waiting on today is Thursday now. It was supposed to be your Monday. Um, I looked at the tracking this morning, and it looks like it is in Tampa, but I'm not sure exactly when it's gonna be delivered. So um, Callie's gonna handle that if it does show up at the warehouse. Um, she's gonna take care of that and put it into the warehouse. And then we will make a full video about um, the wholesale shoes and all that. So that'll probably be next week. But today the plan is to go thrifting. Um, we're gonna go out and hit a couple of thrift stores, probably a Goodwill and a Salvation Army. And yeah, it should be a fun day. We'll see what we can find. But right now I'm actually on my way to our, our UPS store mailbox because we get uh, we get wholesale orders shipped there like t-shirts and stuff. We'll get them shipped to that address because there's not always someone at the warehouse to receive stuff. So uh, I'm gonna go pick up this box. I think it's like a 45 piece uh, t-shirt box that I paid $1,250 for. And I'll go through it and show you guys some of the highlights. So yeah, should be a good day today. Let's go see what we can find. Say hello, YouTube world. Say hello. What's wrong? What you doing? You like this big bean bag, huh? Yeah. That's a good girl. That's a sweet girl. Zero, you're on my t-shirts. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, here's some of the highlights from the, the lot. Really cool Black Sabbath shirt, extra large. Lord's Gym, this one's XXL. 
crazy run DMC tougher than leather shirt XL little bare naked ladies extra large uh, two really cool verve pipe shirts that one and that one crazy Megadeth t-shirts XL on the giant tag this one is Roger Waters just a really cool graphic on the front also extra large hey Momo if you hear Mochi snoring it's because she's right there <laughs> <laughs> uh, this Blues Traveler shirt is probably the coolest Blues Traveler one out there. I really like it. It's cool. And then this uh, John Mellencamp shirt. I just like the graphic on this one. Two of these 2000, I think these are 2002. Yeah, 2002 Alice Cooper shirts, both dead stock. Another Alice Cooper shirt, also dead stock. This is a pretty famous shirt, Marilyn Manson, extra large, dead stock as well with no dry rot, which is pretty crazy. I can't show the back of this one, but you can Google it. <laughs> And then a couple more Marilyn Manson tees, also pretty rare. Yeah, pretty cool lot. Alrighty, shall we go thrift? Yes, sir. Look at Allie, isn't she so cute, guys? Oh. And girls, look at her little outfit. Woo! This is a workout skirt. <laughs> I know, I I'm know. gonna rollerblade today, so I was like, why get two things dirty? It's cute. It's, what brand is it? Um, I don't know what brand say. it is. Oh, true. Alrighty. I can't remember what this symbol's for because I don't often see this brand at the thrift. But this is like Lululemon quality. It is, it's nice. It's actually super nice. I thought it was Lululemon whenever I was flipping through the racks and then I grabbed it and I was like, you know what? I could dress it up or dress it down. True. So I bought it. It's All right. Like five bucks. Nice. <gasps> ah, let's go. All right, first stop today is gonna be the Salvation Army Family Store. Parking lot is pretty empty. Woo! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a good thing or a bad thing. They they uh, they did do half off yesterday, so yeah, sometimes sometimes it's not that great on Thursdays, but sometimes it's awesome because no one comes. So twenty dollars, bro. Twenty dollars for yeah. a plant stand. Yeah. Plant stand. <laughs> Ellie goes. These will make good plant stands. <laughs> they have a lot of furniture right now. It's pretty cool. Little platform truck, three hundred pounds. And she, uh, 20 bucks. Close it. Goes. It was all the way flat. That's awesome. Probably buy this. I think these are like over $100 new. So it's kind of cool. Oh, that's pretty. Good. I love that art for the Disney characters. Yeah, it's nice. What are those? For me. <laughs> Going to Dragon Con. It's for the mermaid cosplay. Oh, smart. If smart. I can make it work. True. Yes. I don't know what art this is. It's cool though, cool graphic. Nothing on the back, just the art park on the sleeve. It's boutiqued, 10 bucks. But, it is new with tags. I'll probably get it, the pattern's cool enough. Like 35, 40. Guess what's arrived? Ryan will be happy, I need to let him know, but I just brought in all of the shoe boxes from outside. They're like, I don't know. 40 pounds each. Oh no, this one's 55. 50. These 50 pound boxes. I, I strong. I, I used dollies and the, and the FedEx guy put them on the dolly, so I just pushed them off. I'm not really that strong. <laughs> but the shoes are here. Cool sale just happened on our eBay store. You guys may have seen me thrift this Filson jacket. I think in the last video I showed it, but. Filson, CC Filson, always look out for that tag. Thrifted it for $8 and it just sold for $265. Took Whoa. a best offer on it. Um, and also, someone pointed out, because I'm not like super, super familiar with Filson, it's hard to date them sometimes by just the tags, but someone pointed out that. So on the inside tag here, you can actually date them sometimes. So right there, see where, underneath style where it says 0413, that means that it was made April of 2013. It's still an older one, but it's not technically, you know, 20 years old. But it's still sold for decent money, and the person who gets it, I'm sure, will be super happy because it's a perfect jacket in perfect condition, so. It looks vintage. It looks vintage. The tag, I was, I was thrown off. I thought the tag was 90s. I thought it was like late 90s, um, but I did think that it was 90s until that got pointed out. So thank you whoever left that comment. I forgot who that was, but I appreciate it. And yeah, let's get this uh, sent out to the new owner. Sold folds. Oh, it's pretty sweet for racing now. <laughs> uh, the shoes are here. Thanks for bringing those in, Callie. No problem. Ready to open them up? Yeah. How do they look? Let's see. They look good. It looks like we didn't get like 
a lot of massive boots like we had been getting, yeah. so it'll be easier to make the lots. Good. Some nice Merrill shoes. Oh, these are nice. Halflinger, really great brand to look out for. That's a nice pair of Chacos. 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 Yeah, so all really good, uh, like bread and butter brands. Um, I'll get more into the shoes. Like I said, I want to do a full video of selling all these shoes and listing them and taking pictures of them and all that stuff. So that'll probably be next week. But yeah, we're going to get to work. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I appreciate it. We all appreciate you. Um, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you enjoy reselling videos, subscribe to the channel. And leave a comment if you want to. We read every single comment and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye. I was gonna zoom in on your jets and shirt. <laughs> <laughs>